Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and we are here with a bit of a New Year's little tidbit, a little special for you guys today. So I hope you enjoy. We're just going to be having a look at my Steam replay of 2022. I know all these sorts of companies are doing them now, Spotify, etc. So let's have a look at, at what I've been playing this year. And you might get a little bit of an insight into what games I like to play in my own time or whether I do get a chance to play any uh, of uh, other games other than the Total War and Paradox games. But we will see, guys. We will see. So I hope you all had a great New Year and a great Christmas if you do celebrate Christmas. And without further ado... Let's get into this. So, let's have a look. This year, you played a variety of different games. Red Dog, lots of changes on the channel through the year. So, we're no longer Red Dog. But we are Red Dog uh, for this Steam replay right now. Here are a few of your highlights. Total War Rome Remastered. 32% of my playtime was Total War Rome Remastered. 320 sessions played guys so i've nearly played that game nearly every single day this year that is quite a lot that's actually shocked me a little bit nearly every day and i mean not all of it is recording i'm, I'm not gonna lie not all of it is recording but most of it vast majority of that i'd probably say about 25 percent of that third uh sorry 25 percent of the total there so probably you know 75% of the time when I'm playing Rome Remastered, I am recording for you guys <laughs> here today. So, yeah, 320. That's actually quite shocked me there, really. I don't really know what to say. That's a lot. <laughs> nearly every single day, guys. Nearly every single day. I guess um, that's including multiple sessions on the same day. So maybe not every single day. Uh, but I have played a lot of it. And you can check it out in the description down below. We've got our Seleucid campaign. We've got our RTR Imperium Serectum. All the mod updates for that. We've also got our Sparta campaign. And we've got a Julia and Apathia campaign in vanilla as well. So check those out, guys. Um, eight new games, 29 games played. That's actually quite shocking. I don't know how I've played 29 games. I do have a lot of games on the Steam, but 29 different ones. I wonder whether I could name them off the top of my head. I don't think I could, but I'd be able to name a few. I mean, a lot of them are in the background here, so you'd be able to see eight new games that have been played. That's actually quite a lot. Uh, because generally I play, you know, games that I've played for a while anyway. And then uh, secondly, Total War Medieval 2 Definitive Edition. 24% of playtime, really? Wow. That's actually shocked me as well because it's not too far away from Rome Remastered. I definitely don't think I've played... I definitely in my head haven't played this anywhere near as much as Rome Remastered. Um, but I guess maybe longer stints if I'm playing a bit of DAC, that sort of thing. 112 sessions played, so a lot of sessions on that as well. I wonder whether we can check on these. Have a look at this. Total War Rome Remastered. You played this game some more in 2022. Seven day streak was the, uh, the number of days that I've played consecutively. 27% of total playtime was in July, which is actually quite interesting. And you can see, uh, due to my illness last month and the start of this month, I've not really played it that much. But only tiny amounts in January and February. Big, big June and July. And then a little bit less again as well. 22 achievements unlocked. Not so um, not so uh, interesting, to be fair. Let's uh, let's go back. Okay, we are out here. Where is my replay? Why does it not just take you back to the replay? That's a bit stupid, isn't it? Um, oh, we could just just pressed the X there. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. This was January and February. That is why this uh, Medieval Two is has been played so much. That must have been the Isengard campaign in January and February, and it was actually a bit longer of a campaign uh, than than I was really expecting it to be. Went to 50 episodes rather than the standard 30 that I aim for. So, yeah, so maybe that is why <laughs> it is such a, a large amount of playtime. Not so much recently. In fact, in August, nothing. I didn't even play it once in the whole of August, but a lot at the start of the year. Um, but let's have a look at some of these new games. Oh, okay, that one's not an interactive one. And then we have F1 Manager 2022, 7% of uh, playtime, 48 sessions played. I've really got into F1 this year, guys. So, uh, yeah, that is why that game has been played quite a bit 
28 days was my longest streak of playing games of 16 games from Saturday, October the 8th to Saturday, November the 5th. A long, long old streak that a whole month of playing games on Steam. That does seem like quite a lot. Um, but F1 manager as well. How do you compare? Stack your year against the rest of the Steam community. I unlocked 84 achievements. Steam average is 21. Obviously, that's going to be skewed, I would say. Because there'll be a lot of Steam accounts that have got no achievements because no one, they, people haven't played on them. I know... Like my missus, for example, she has a Steam account, but she doesn't use it. So there'll be a lot of people that have zero achievements. So it's a bit skewed. But I mean, 84 is a lot more than 21. So I'm quite happy with that. I played 29 games. The Steam average is five. Is the Steam trying to tell me something? Is Steam trying to tell me that I shouldn't play so many games? Uh, but yeah, the longest streak was 28 days and the Steam average was nine. Great. So we are just over the average by quite significant amounts in every single one we're nearly six times the steam average for the for the amount of games um we're three times the steam average for the longest streak uh and we're about four times well exactly four times for the amount of achievements so maybe we're playing a little bit too much 21 percent uh is the percentage of games you played that were new releases uh interesting that's actually uh that's not too far away from the average, to be honest. Uh, new releases during... Uh, games released during 2022. Uh, I'm trying to think what those new releases... That would have been F1 2022 and F1 Manager 2022. And I think uh, those are the only two new games that I've bought this year. In terms of games that came out this year. So it must just be those two games. I, I can't think of anything else. Uh, but recent favorites, 48%, the, the percentage of games you played that were released in the last one to seven years. Uh, well, I guess Rome Remastered counts as that. So that's probably skewing this number quite significantly. Uh, but 64%, the percentage of games, the average player. And 31%, the percentage of games you played that were released eight or more years ago. And that is definitely the Med 2 coming in and Napoleon and all that sort of thing. 19%, the percentage of games the average player on Steam played that were released eight or more years ago. We are more, more old school, definitely, uh, than, uh, yeah, than uh, quite a few other people around. Although 64% is actually the average is higher on this, but this is very skewed. It would be a lot lower um, if it counted Rome Remastered as being released eight or more years ago, because it, it technically is. Um, right, yes, you are what you play. This spider graph shows the kinds of games you spent the most time in 2022. Grand strategy, simulation, bit of racing, bit of Souls-like with Elden Ring, of course. Um, I do have Dark Souls, I believe, on Steam as well, and I will play that on the channel at some point. Um, it is, um, it, yeah, it, it, it's hard to say, but at this moment in time, Dark Souls 1 is my favorite game of all time. Generally, I consider it, even if it wasn't my favorite game, I would still probably consider it objectively the best game ever made um, in terms of gameplay, in terms of story. Not necessarily story. The, the, the story is what you make it in Dark Souls, but... Yeah, it, it, it is the greatest game in terms of a complete package that I think I've ever played. Um, because everything in that game is part of the world. You're respawning as part of the world. Your health, your um, the souls that you collect, that is a reason, that has a reason in the world. It's not just there for arbitrary reasons like, you know, in Call of Duty, shooting people and getting points, that sort of thing. Everything in that game is designed and built to be part of the game and the storyline and the whole fabric of the world. And that, to me, is something special. And not many games have managed to get that. Sorry about that passionate plea for Dark Souls. I'm sure plenty of you have played it and hated it because it's because of how hard it is. But, um, yeah, it's to me, I, I don't know. It, to me, it is unbelievably good, that game. Unbelievably good. Even though I've played it through... So many times now, so many times, I have woken up in that undead asylum so many times now, but every single time it still gives me goosebumps. It is a fantastic game. But we also have some city builders in there. Uh, I do play a lot of uh, city skylines in my uh, spare time. 
So do let me know if you, that's something you're interested in. Also, a bit of Prison Architect. Space, of course, is Stellaris. Grand Strategy is the Paradox Games there. EU4, uh, Vicky3, uh, CK3, all those ones. And then Simulation, of course, is the Total War Games. Uh, but yeah, City Builders, that is, like I say, Prison Architect, City Skylines. Um, any others, like Surviving Mars, maybe? I played a little bit of that, but I'm not sure about this year whether I've played too much. But yeah, by the number, workshop item subscriptions. I got 53 of those this year. New friends added five and badges earned three. I, I don't even really, that's not too interesting, is it? Let's take a closer look at your top played games. Oh, here we are. We came uh, We came through this before. Uh, that's interesting. We've got that. Then F1 Manager. You can see I played, absolutely smashed it in October. And then November decided, yeah, one, once you've uh, played it through once or twice, you kind of get the gist. It's not that replayable, honestly. F1 2022 is the game to get if you are a real big F1 fan and want to play a good F1 game. It's definitely a lot better than F1 Manager. I know there's always complaints when they release because of the bugs. Like all EA games, all EA sports games, every single time they release, they just seem to not be able to release them finished, uh, which is a nightmare. But... Uh, F1 2022 is good, especially if you have a racing rig, which I don't. And I really, really, really want one. I really want one. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a racing rig for F1 2022. That would make me so happy. Uh, but I don't. I, I use a controller and it's very difficult, but <laughs> it's fun. It's still fun. You can pretend you're an F1, F1 driver uh, if you are into that. Oh, here we are. City Skylines. There we are. 50 sessions played. Only 6% of total there. Uh, playtime but you can see it's very spread out and i play it every now and then march i played a load of it november I played a load of it and october a tiny bit uh but yeah for a while there i did have an issue because of the amount of mods i was running on the game <laughs> it's just so many mods and then um for some reason city skylines unlike a lot of the paradox games is quite hard to figure out which mods are causing you to have issues so I had to go through like every single mod. I had hundreds of assets subscribed to uh, and decide which one and try and uh, find out which one was causing it not to load. Um, so yeah, so that's why there is a big gap there uh, because like basically <laughs> it was a nightmare trying to get it working again. We've also got Victoria 3, of course, guys. And you can see we've played a little bit of Victoria three through the year obviously it released in october and we played a little we got the uh, the two uh, the two campaigns running on the channel as well so you can check those out only five percent of total play time which is seems about right because majority of the time i'm playing rome remastered or dac as you can clearly clearly see uh, your play time by month now this wow this is kind of scary honestly look at this wow what's uh, so over here we have Med 2 and a bit of Rome Remastered. Wow. And then we come on to a bit of City Skylines with some uh, Med 2 and Rome Remastered. What's this pink one here? Ah, oh, Napoleon. Napoleon has uh, made an appearance. A bit of Napoleon in April and May. Nice. Very cool. I'm just going to bring you up so you can see this, guys. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got a bit of CK3 in there as well. Nice. And then Rome Remastered. You can just see... As the uh, Sparta campaign and the Seleucid campaign has uh, has been going, we can see that we've played a lot of Rome Remastered, especially in July. Look at that. Very nice. Apparently, only in August, I only played Rome Remastered and a bit of Stellaris, and that was it. <laughs> a bit of CK3 in there as well. Uh, interesting. Now, what have we got over here? We've got Stellaris, Vicky3, F1 Manager, and Rome. And then the rest of them, a uh, bit of Med, bit of Napoleon, Bit of Victoria 2 actually in there. Interesting, interesting. Not something that <laughs> I really would like to play very often. I've got a Shogun 2 in November. I do remember I played a few campaigns in Shogun 2 uh, in November. Just uh, just for a bit of that nostalgia. There's Prison Architect, as you can see. Stellaris, uh, Attila. Uh, what's that down there? Tropico 6. I didn't really play that that much. Planet Coaster. I'm surprised Planet Coaster hasn't come up more. Because there was a time when I played that quite often honestly like uh there was a month where i played it a lot maybe it was november i don't think it was november but your longest daily streak now this is all the games i played on that streak during this time you played 16 different games wow 
Definitely don't have ADHD, guys. Definitely don't. <laughs> I promise you. Um, right, yeah. So we played Med 2, Empire Total War, Napoleon Total War, Victoria 2. I don't know why. Uh, Prison Architect, I do know why, because it's great. Um, EU4, great. City Skyline, Stellaris, Attila. Hoi 4, there was a period when I was trying to get good at Hoi 4. Um didn't work <laughs> didn't work i'm still absolute garbage at hoi four complete garbage complete and utter garbage i am so bad at hoi four it's unbelievable and i don't know why because i used to be really good at hoi three but i just can't be bothered getting good at it and it's not supposed it's not that hard that's the problem that is why it's more embarrassing because <laughs> It's not that hard. I'm I'm still absolutely trash at it. What do you think, Mr. Chair? He's happy anyway. Uh, Planet Coaster, Victoria 3, surviving the aftermath. Um, tried to play that game. Couldn't really get into it. The camera for me just breaks that game. I, 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 I don't like being so zoomed in it's really really annoying honestly like the how zoomed in you are really pisses me off in that game and i couldn't get around it so even though i've played surviving mars and it's it's a paradox game as well um yeah can't get into that rome remastered of course ck3 absolutely glorious game and then f1 manager 2022 can I explore the games we've played is this uh coming to the end now there we are Frequently asked questions. Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. The boys. Yes. We have played Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 this year. What an OG game. With the triple thrill pack, of course. Wow. March of the Eagles. You are joking me. Oh, yeah. I played that for a video. Um, yeah. I don't think I'll ever play that game again. And if any of you enjoy that game, what is wrong with you? genuinely what is wrong with you that is that game is is so bad <laughs> it's embarrassingly bad planet zoo is great played a bit of settlement survival on the channel as well um it's okay uh, to me it's just not banished and banished banished will forever remain a great game a great game did i say no banished on here at all i'm sure i will have played banished at some point this year really no banished whatsoever wow uh, obviously, the original Rome got that on there. Total War Warhammer 2. Um, yeah, nah. <laughs> I really don't care about that game. Care for it at all, really, honestly. Not really my favorite game, uh, I've got to say. I, I mean, it's okay. I just don't like the new engine. The engine on the new games, to me, is not great. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's hard to explain it. I just don't. I don't know, battles feel weird to me anyway on the new engine. And I I appreciate how much people love Warhammer and why it's so good. I understand why it's so good. Um, but for me, it's just, I've never been a, a Warhammer fan. So I don't even really know what I'm doing when I play in the game. And then combine that with the engine. And it's, yeah, it's really kind of a no-go for me. Uh, but Total War Empire, fantastic. I do love Empire with Darth Mod. Empire Vanilla is worth avoiding. <laughs> Empire with Darth Mod, fantastic. CK3, of course. We've had some great adventures. Do check those on the channel out as well. Uh, we have played, um, tried to have 50 kids as a Holy Roman Empire count in uh, Crusader Kings 3. So do check that out. It's a two-part series. I won't let you know whether we managed to do it, uh, but... We got a lot of kids. I've got to say, we had a lot of kids. And we lived to be... I think we were 120 by the end of our life. So, yeah, we lived very, very long. And we're still having kids as we died. So, that's kind of cursed. If you want to see a cursed video, do check that out. Um, but, yeah, Tropico 6, very good game. Um, Attila, of course, Dawnless Days. Uh, Rome 2 for DEI and 1100 AD. Planet Zoo, great game as well. Uh, Prison Architect, of course, great. Elden Ring, I'm still blind on that. I still haven't watched anyone play it. Um, and I'm still playing it myself um, on the channel. And I will start that series up again at some point. Just with so many series going on on the channel at the minute, there's no point adding another one in there as well. That would just be obscene. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, fantastic little bit of a roundup of the year. Uh, I wish it, why does it not tell, tell me how many hours I've played this year? Like what, 
Where? Have I missed it? Am I being dumb or what? Did it not tell you a total of the amount of hours? Surely. Surely there's a total somewhere. Yo, your playtime by month. I mean, yeah, that's fine. But it's just percentages. Tell me the hours, bro. I want to know the hours. I don't care about the percentage. Because it will be a lot. Uh, it will be a lot. Grid view by month. Oh, you can see the games we played each month as well. Cool. Yeah, nice. Nice. Just full total war month, this one. <laughs> we got a bit of paradox in there as well. Ah, cool. Right, well, that's uh, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, tidbit. It's just for a bit of fun. I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd broadcast it on the channel, see whether you guys uh, like it anything like that um please do check out all the series down below that would be great like and subscribe that would also be fantastic so thank you very much for watching guys it's been a pleasure as always and i will see you all again on the next video